In this video for PLTW IED, I am going to show you how to create the eccentric cam for the Automata project. This is based off of using a nominal diameter. So you define like a value like D is equal to a value. I'm going to use D is equal to two inches for this video. And all of the measurements, except for this small little uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter hole here are going to be based off of that value. And so I'm going to show you how to set that in the parametrics menu and how to create this eccentric cam as a whole. So within Inventor, I'm going to click Part. I'm going to start a sketch. And I'm going to click this XY plane. Now I'm going to skip over some of the little finer details if you want to see some of the beginner kind of stuff. Watch the pair cam video that I have linked with this video. Uh, I talk more about the smaller details on how I manipulate some of the workspace and such first. So I'm going to create a circle that is 3 sixteenths in diameter. And here I can type in 3 divided by 16. And I've created my 3 sixteenths diameter circle. Back on the cam picture here we can see that the big cam is going to start one-fourth D. Well we have to set what D is. So within Inventor we can go to the Manage tab here and there's this Parameters button. Big giant Parameters button. So I'm going to click Parameters. And we can already see that there is a value D0 already listed as 3 sixteenths of an inch. The unit type is inches, and it gives us what the nominal value is for that. Well, we're going to set our own user parameter and by clicking this Add Numeric button here in the bottom left. When I click Add Numeric, it opens up a box. It's like, okay, what is the parameter name? Now, we could type in a name, like Height, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the letter D. And I'm going to hit Tab, uh, and it creates and populates across here. Now, the unit type we're going to leave as inches, but here, this equation value, I can set that, and I said I was going to set D is equal to 2, so I'm just going to type in 2 here and hit Enter. So now, Inventor knows that when I type the letter D, I'm actually saying, hey, I want you to use the value of 2 for the letter of D. So right now, I'm going to click Done. And back on that cam, remember, we're going to go up 1 fourth D, 1 quarter of the way of D, up. So I'm going to go to my sketch tab, click line. I'm going to draw a line that goes up, straight up, D divided by 4, 1 fourth of D. Hit enter. And right click, hit OK here to get out of the line tool. We can see that this line is constrained by this value. It's 0.5 inches in length. But it says here, FX colon 0.5. So fx is saying a function. A function is defining this constraint and the result is 0.5 inches, which makes sense. I set d is equal to 2 and a quarter, one-fourth of 2 is 0.5. Now back on the cam here we can see that the diameter of this circle, okay, uh, d here, it's just going to be d. So I'm going to set the circle here, and it's centered on the top of this line, and I'm going to stretch it out. Now, and I could type in 2, but the truth is we want to be able to scale this up and down very easily. And I've already used that parametric value of D, so I'm going to type in D and hit Enter. And it automatically sets that diameter of this circle. The function is outputting the value of 2. I'm going to finish sketch, and I'm going to hit extrude, and I'm going to select what I want to extrude. Now I could type in a value here, or I can type it up here in this window. I like to use this window up here. And uh, back on the, on the screen, it says the eccentric cam is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick material. So I'm just going to type in 3 divided by 16, and I'm going to hit enter. And we have now created our eccentric cam. That'll help us get ready for the Autonoma project for PLTW IED.